Hello, welcome to Friday Souls. My name is Shalisa and this is So She Designs. And Friday Souls is where we talk a little bit about um, the things we're working on and a little bit about life. So if you're interested in this, please stay tuned. First, I would like to thank Jen from today in Jen's Sewing Room for creating the hashtag Friday Sews. This week I did a video with a fabric haul and a pattern haul. Um, so if you didn't get a chance to watch those, I'll link those in the description box below. Um, I also have a couple of fabrics that, that were given to me um, this past Wednesday that I forgot to include in my fabric haul. And I wanted to show you guys those today. But today's question, let's start with that. And today's question is, what is your favorite shade of green? So for me, my favorite shade of green would be the Hunter Green. I love that color. I just like the deep richness of it. So that would be my favorite color green of green, shade of green. One of the fabrics that I forgot to show has some green in it. And I think it's going to be a lovely dress. I wanted to show you show you that first. Um, yeah, and she left the tag on, so I can tell you what it is. It is a um, print stretch poplin, and this came from Fabric Mart. But I think this is a pretty green with the navy blue, and I think that's going to be really nice as a dress. So I just wanted to show that to you guys because I forgot to put this in my video. And I like this. And I think I'm going to make um, some bottoms out of this. And I have another fabric that's on the way with the same purple in it that is going to be the top. So I'm looking forward to that when it, when it gets here. And these came from Fabric Mart. The purple, she left the tag on was $7.99 a yard and the green and blue was $8.99 a yard. And like I said, they came from Fabric Mart. Um, today, what I have in reference to my um, Sew Orange for Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Month, I made these little pads. I have two two little dogs and they're crate trained. So and they sleep in the crate at night. And um, Right now, I just like go to thrift stores and I get towels, old towels, and I just, you know, accumulate those in a basket. And that's what I use to put at the bottom of their crate. Because in my mind, nobody, want, I don't want to sleep on that hard thing. So I don't want them sleeping on that. So I just kind of use that to pad the bottom. So I was like, well, why not make a little pad to go in there? So I had some of this. Um, this is like a flannel left over with some little foxes. So this was my so this is my so orange for MS. I made these little pads to go in the bottom of the crate. And I think they're so cute. Like I have a little bit more, and I think I have enough left to make two more. But I think this is so cute. I didn't know what I was gonna do with this, and I already used it on something else. I forgot what I made, but a while back. So I've had this a while. So I was like, well, let me just use it and make those little pads. So I thought this was really cute. I just, I surged the edges and then I went across with the sewing machine to make the little channels. And I thought that was cute for the bottom of the crate. Um, I also made a, uh, like a window curtain, you know, the how the front door has a window. I made a curtain for that for my daughter and she have a, she has a bench in her living room that she painted and she wanted a pillow. So I made the pillow and the matching curtain this week so this is the curtain this is some fabric that I had and she and she picked that out so this is just the little curtain to go to the front door window I am um I don't know I think it's a sin against the home decor I don't know spirits 
to have anything against your window that is anything other than white. That's just my personal preference. I just have to have whites against the window. However, I did not um I did not get to put a white backing on this. Number one, she said the rail was really a really thin rail and this fabric was very heavy. And by it being so light, I'm hoping that it doesn't look bad with this showing to the window um, in itself. But I'm going to mail it to her. But when I get to her house, and if I don't like it, then I'll take it down and buy a stronger rod and put white on the back of this. Because I don't know. That's just my personal preference. I think white should be showing to the outside of the home. This is me. I also made her a pillow to go on her on her um, bench. I think it turned out really cute. This fabric actually turned out um, being very beautiful. I, I like it. It's really nice. Um, I don't know. I was wondering, did she need maybe balances for the kitchen or whatever? But I guess when she see it, if she wants something else, because I have a little bit more, I know I could make, um, I know I can make more pillows, but um, I'm sure I could get two balances off out of what was left as well I know, I know she's redecorating but i thought this was really nice this is fabric um that was given to me uh from someone who used to a lady she used to do upholstery or drapery or something anyway she had a bunch of, of um upholstery weight drape weight fabric that she gave to me because she knew that i made bags but this just turned out so lovely so I'm looking forward to mailing this off, hopefully in the morning. And she, when she gets it, I'll tell her to take a picture so you guys can see what it looks like in her home. This weekend at Joanne's, Butterick and Vogue are on sale. I didn't get any Butterick. There is one Butterick that I needed to get. And I got that because it, um, I need to get that because believe it or not, I was in the middle of making this dress i'll put a picture of the um pattern it's butterick 5030 i believe is the number and i'm in the middle of making this dress and there are two pieces to the dress that i have misplaced and i have torn my room up and the only thing i know is to go through each piece of fabric and i'm not going to do that i have no idea where these pieces could have went i wanted to get this pattern again so I can cut those two pieces out and finish my dress because the dress is going to be gorgeous as soon as I can finish it. If not, I just have to get my design skills together and, and add something to to it to finish it on my own the best way that I, I know how. Because I went to the Joann's that was closest to me at the time. And of course, that one never has, has what you want. So I wasn't able to find it at that Joann's. If I have time, I will go to another Joann's that's farther and see if I can find a replacement pattern for that. However, I did get uh, some Vogue, which is out of my, I don't normally get Vogue, but my friend Karen from So Like a Costume Designer, well, she is doing a series on, well, her, her channel, what she does is she talks about movies and is, is so like a costume designer, but you're not making costumes, you're making dresses, or clothing that will reference that movie, but it's wearable for you to wear every day or out. So anyway, this week she did Wednesday. And when she did it, she showed this pattern. So I wanted to get this pattern because I thought it was very beautiful dress. It is Vogue 1652. And I just thought that was a lovely dress. I thought that was very cute. So while I'm looking, I just, I happen to go through, I usually go through the top, I guess the top drawer where the older patterns are just, just to see what's left or whatever. So while I was looking, I saw this shirt and I thought this shirt was very nice. I have a, uh, a pattern for a jacket and I actually have it cut out. The jacket I'm actually making from an old, um, bedspread and i'm going to share that with you guys i have it cut out i just haven't started making it but once i get to it, i'm going to share share it with you guys because i want you to see how i'm going to decorate the fabric before i start sewing with it i'm going to kind of like 
um, do a screen print to it, but I wanted to sh share that with you guys before I got ready to do it. Anyway, with that being said, this shirt I picked up is made similar to that jacket, so I thought this shirt was nice. Would, would be a nice addition to um, my wardrobe. This is Vogue 1659. I thought that was really nice. And I saw this and I haven't seen a pantsuit made like this. So that was the reason that I, I purchased this. And I thought this was really nice. Um, it's out of my comfort zone to wear something like this. But it's, it's really nice. And I do have something else. I have the fabric for, um, I think it came out last year, one of Mimi G dresses. But it's kind of like a halter top and in the back it is the back is out a little bit but this kind of reminds me of that but this is a one piece um jumper so this is vogue 1524 and i thought that was very beautiful look at the back even if you i probably could bring it up the pants up figure out how to bring the pants up to this point i just love the back i thought that was really nice so I like those. Those are the three patterns that I got today. Like I said, it is um it's Friday the I'll put the date on the screen. I think the 16th. St. Patrick's Day. Um so the patterns are on sale today, Saturday, and Sunday. So Butterick is on sale for $1.99 and Vogue is on sale for $5.99. Um, with that being said, today's shout out is going to go to Rochelle.handmade.designs. So Rochelle Handmade Designs, I watch her, I love her, I love her pattern reviews, I love her sew alongs. She's very, th very thorough and she, she has very good videos. So if you haven't watched her, go and watch her um you really enjoy her another shout out to everybody in um, florida this weekend i wish i could be there I, i'm looking at the pictures of everybody's posting their pictures and pictures and they look like they're having so much fun so preferably next next year i'll make it um but i hope they're having a great time i can't wait to see the ladies videos when they come back home and, and, and upload videos of their experiences I'm actually looking forward to going to one of those, um, I guess, a quilting bazaar, bazaar or something. They have one in, in Virginia, in Fredericksburg, I believe. So I think it's around September. So preferably, I'll be able to go to the one in Virginia this year. Um, with that being said, that's all I have going on for today for my Friday Souls. Thank you for tuning in and watching me. I really appreciate each and every one of you who, for watching my channel and for your support. Please give my videos a thumb up and, and comment and share. Um, again, if you're not a subscriber, it's free. So you can subscribe and you can see what we're doing each week on this channel. Coming up, I will be, I'm not going to say when, um, but the last shirt that I made with the Ankara and the lace, I'm going to take that pattern and I just... I know there's so many things that I think you can do with that one pattern. And I want to make those items and show it to you guys to show you how one pattern you can use to do multiple things. So that's something that I'm working on at this time. And that's coming up soon. Just to show you how you can take one pattern. And remember, you're a designer at heart. Whatever, whatever it is you want to make, you can make it. Even if you have to just take your time and do a little bit each day, you can do it. And that's all I have for you guys today. I really appreciate you again for stopping by. And don't forget to sew something fabulous. See you on the next video.